This is the Simple MMO Guild Seasonal Guild Leaderboard segment of the stream. Uh, this is where Couchcat, in partnership with Galahad Creative and Yomu specifically, uh, we track the top 25 guilds in Simple MMO's uh, cyclic uh, Seasonal Guild Leaderboard. Uh, and we track it by seven, like a seven day time period, uh, for the, you know, most recent progress and the guilds and different tiers within the top 25. And yeah, it's, it's a fun time. It's, it's a fun competitive time in simple MO. And of course the way we track it is through this beautiful dashboard, which was created for us exclusively by Yomu, who's the um one of the, one of, i should say one of the admins of simple mo and the co-dev of idol mmo uh and they started out as a just an awesome coder and they run the simple MO, simple mmo app hub which is just another way to play simple mmo have a better chat interface uh, a better battle interface which is linked in the description so if you want to check that out to support him because he supports us greatly appreciate it and we'll just go and get into it so we are in season seven uh, that just started a week ago, and of course we were absent, so we didn't get to like comment on the craziness. Uh, but we are, we're skipping ahead 14 minus seven. We're we're checking the last seven days of um, progress, so we can see the movement uh, that we otherwise wouldn't see if we were to look at the last 14 days. So let's get crack a lack and do people still say that? No. Okay, just keep it together. All right. So as you can see here, um, we are we are tracking uh, or we are currently looking at the total experience earned in the last seven days. This is the celestial tier. This is the first through fifth position of the SGL. Yeah, no one says crack line. Ah, damn it, Hunt. <laughs> You're my advisor. You're supposed to tell me this stuff. Uh, and first and foremost, look at this craziness. Uh, something I predicted. I just want to say that we have deforest at number one with 37.9 almost freaking 38 mil uh, of course that was going to happen for those of you who don't know a lot of the heavy hitters from sanctuary migrated to the forest so it's no longer just kin and you know kin in the woods dressed up as a maid uh you know god bless him uh i'm pretty sure theron is there and a, a chaotic serenity is there and a couple other heavy hitters from sanctuary um are there to <laughs> just do work so that's interesting to see. TSL is number two, of course. Wow, what a what a change here. Uh, at 26 mil, we have Sanctuary holding on at uh, third place under uh, Juan, 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 right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, after their original leader got banned and, uh, you know, no proof, no justice, whatever the shit. But they're still third. We thought we would see them. Dagon says they're taking a break from Simple MO. That's unfortunate to hear. Uh, he is pretty much a staple in the community at this point. Uh, so retract what I said. He was enforced for at least a week <laughs> or less. But anyway, we have Sanctuary still holding on together. So, I mean, good for them, right? Good for them. And number four, we have Factory Reset, uh, which was previously number five. So interesting. I wonder who got knocked down. We'll see that soon. Uh, but generally, this is good. We see at number three or number two, uh, but with new blood in the Celestial uh, tier, I, we'll see what really happens, but, uh, you know, still here, still, they've been, they're one of the guilds that have been, uh, Celestial for the longest time out of any guild here in, uh, Celestial tier, so, they're all, you know, they're, they're old salty dogs, and then we have DPS at number five, moving back into Celestial tier, uh, and I believe most of these guilds are PvE, there's a huge wave of PvE guilds for season seven to gain EXP, to take a breather uh it is the holiday season i think it's the best thing you should do i think take a break account for people doing their thing on the holidays go pv it's just easier it costs less so what does that mean we have to say dps is the best purest pv uh, guild here because everyone else is making hot swaps <laughs> yep all right Let's move on to Legendary. This is the 6th through the 10th positions. So Prostor was Celestial tier, which is great to see. Prostor is one of my favorite guilds in Simple MO. So they were Celestial tier very briefly. They got knocked down by two uh, heavy hitters, which is completely honorable in my, in my, you know, my mind. But they are number 6 now in Legendary, 
We have Murder of the Universe placed high once again. Uh, they didn't do so hot last season. And they are number 7 with 10.6. Still Friendly 2, whichever one that is, at number 8 with 9.2 mil. We have Frontier at number 9 with 8.7 mil. Good job to Kiwi. And then Resolve, out of every deal I did not expect to see here. 8 positions forward with 7.8 mil earned at number 10. Holy heck, what happened to Resolve, dude? Who is in Resolve right now to get 8 plus positions? That is insane. That is the best push forward probably so far. All right, moving on to Epic. So Requiem of Lost Souls, uh, oldie but a goodie, I think. Number 11 at 7.5, dropping to position. Golden Arrows at number 12 at 7.4, good on you, Dosa and crew. Slums at 13, moving to position four at 7.4, neck and neck with Golden Arrows. Wolf Blood, my beloved, at number 14, moving down two positions at 7.3. Uh, I am resigning from Wolf Blood. This is just disgusting. No, I'm just kidding. And then we have Gladiators, who were uh, Italia, who were fake Italians, and now they're fake uh, Spartans, so that's unfortunate. At number 15, four <laughs> positions down. Obviously, Resolve's push like screwed everyone up behind them, <laughs> and they're down at seven. But still, they're an epic tier. That's not a big deal. <laughs> Fairweather Guildy. Dude, don't call me out. All right, moving on to Elite. We have the Cult of All Guilds. Uh, they made a resurgence uh, at the tail end of last season, uh, saying that they were going to do something. Obviously, they weren't doing anything, and now they're doing something. They're riding the waves of the chaos when a season resets. So let's just see how long this lasts. They moved six whole positions forward. Obviously, someone power leveled. Uh, with Vegeta and Kakarot, and here they are at number 16, 5.2 mil earned. Black Dragon dropping, but still in a great position from where they were last season at number 17 with 5.1. Shadow Garden of all freaking shit stain guilds at number 18 at 4.9. Shadow, when will you learn to quit? I just can't, I can't handle reporting on Shadow Gardens anymore. ZZK at number 19 at 4.9 mil earned, two positions forward, and then DGK at number 20 with 4.8 mil earned, dropping three whole positions. Demo's not here. I don't know if DGK is going to continue. Generally, Demo goes hard for a season, and then he, he like, hibernates. Okay, now we're in rare tier. We got we to drink some beer. The giveaway pot. All right, let's pause real quick. Okay, so we got Zildin, Old Bren, and Rack and Roll winning an item. And they are all fresh winners. Isn't that awesome? So thank you so much for always supporting me and showing up to stream. This is me giving back to you with uh, help from Red. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Zildin will brand, rack and roll, uh, wave to me in game, and I'll get those items to you by the end of the stream. Sick. Congrats to everyone. Zildin, you deserve it, man. You deserve it. You let me, you, you let me make fun of you all the time, so you deserve it. <laughs> Please post it through the Atlantic. <laughs> Okay, no. All right, so at 21, dropping five whole positions like a dead body is Eternal Flame. Isn't that Welski's Guild? Boy, how the mighty have fallen. They're at 4.7 mil. Actually, they, they're doing pretty good. Uh, they started off really low, and then they took control during the chaos, and then now they're kind of getting you know knocked back to reality. But, you know, good luck to Welski. Fear of the Unknown at 22, dropping two positions, 4.3. Rest in peace, Lily. I would pour one out on my keyboard. Lily was a... Uh, a very brief but loved member of our community who's sadly no longer with us. Um, and that was the guild they were in, so that was really unfortunate to see. Friendly at 23. Holy, that is the lowest I've seen friendly. Um, I can't... Listen, all I can say is I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, washed. He's, I'm calling it now, washed. <laughs> Asgard at 24? <laughs> Jason, Jason, what are you doing? How did you get this low? Holy shit, 3.7 mil in the second week. <sighs> Friendly going into hibernation. Yeah, that's just an uh, excuse. Uh, and then the Knights who say ye of all guilds popping back into Celestial Tier with two positions for at 3.1 mil word. Oh my god. <laughs> ye, what are you doing? You should hibernate. Just take a break, man. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Okay. So that's top uh, one through twenty-five. Uh, you know, those are the positions fighting for um, the SGL. But that's not the end because it's my favorite part. We're going to cover the tier two system, is what we dub it, uh, and that's the twenty-sixth through thirty-fifth positions of the guild leaderboard. And that's where we look at the prospects, uh, you know, who are fighting for a chance to be in the top 25. Guilds who've dropped out of the top 25. Uh, and we just want to see what's going on down there because it's never good to be blindsided. All right. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on. I'll just go through the numbers because I'm kind of blocking the way a little bit. But we have... Hold on. Can I like... It didn't make it any better. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but at 26, we have Dante's Inferno Room, who I feel like has been here for like eternity. Kind of funny, right, Dante? Yeah, I mean, kind of like works there. Uh, 2.4 mil at two positions moving forward. Okay, I'm not going to do the 20 XP. 27, we have Helheim. 28, we have Dead Void. That's a new That's a new guild. Haven't heard that before unless they renamed. Crimson Tower is back at 29. Where's Caveman? Caveman, come get your guild. Heaven and Hell at 30. Oh my god, they're dead. Drifters at 31. Stefan Cho at 32. Telly Tubby's still down here at 33 with the best name pop. 16 positions forward. Where did they go? Where did they go in the last two weeks? How did they get so far where they pushed 16 positions forward? That does not make any sense whatsoever. That is insane. Murder, <laughs> Murder of Crows all the way down here at 34. Oh, rest in peace. Corvoid, uh, that's not going to end well for you. And Blazing Beast was Vex barely... I don't understand. I do not understand how Blazing Beast has been the 35th guild for like three seasons. They don't do anything. Someone, just someone knock them out at 35. What's that? I always ask chat. What does that say? Uh, what does that say about the, the 30, like 6th and 7 and 8th guilds? That Blazing Beast is just sitting here. <laughs> What's that say? Uh, Sarah Mac says Dead Void is new, renamed from The Dead Void. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Mac, for the hot off the press news. They were The Dead Void. <laughs> Dude, I love chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's a good tidbit. <laughs> Seriously, I did not... I didn't put Crimson Tower on my uh, bingo card for who's going to return to the SGL. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So that was the SGL, the latest Harvest Report for Season 7 within Simple Mode Season Go Later Board. Uh, we went over all the hot latest um, progress from the last seven days, and we also covered the Tier 2 system here to see who's popping up and who's dropping <laughs> who's dropping really low, uh, like, a, like a stone. Like, what does Brand New say? Like a, just falling like a, like a stone in water? Damn. Makes you feel old when you think about your old uh, favorite bands. Right, Ghost Bear? But all right, that concludes SGL. Thank you so much for everyone who participates in the SGL. Uh, thanks to everyone who provides information to us to report through the SGL. And thanks to the VOD squad who's going to watch this later as its own VOD. If you're a YouTube member, you will see that early. And if you're a guild leader or an officer or just a guild enthusiast and you want to share this with your guild mates, that's and show them what they're you know what they're fighting for. It's the best way to do it. Uh, that VOD will drop, and we highly suggest you circulate that around. 